Hello and welcome to another episode of Sandy Killer Projects. Today we're going to be talking about some oil filters. Um, in my attempt to get uh, all the oil filters uh, specifically to the 2023 Honda Passport um, that we currently have, um, I ended up getting a XG9100, uh, which doesn't necessarily go on the Honda Passport, but um, everything else here should fit on the Honda ha Passport. So if we're going to talk about oil filters, one of the things we do have to talk about is who makes them. Um, there are really two major manufacturers of oil filters on the market currently. Uh, First Brands Group is a major manufacturer of oil filters. They make um, the, the brand you see here, Fram, um, which is a very common oil filter. And then um, you see a lot nowadays the STP filters, which are also made uh, by First Brands Group. Um, they exchange the pH on the uh, part number for an S and then it becomes a uh, STP number. Uh, also the Supertech filters that you see at Walmart, uh, Royal Purple, the CarQuest house brand oil filters, AMS oil filters are actually made by First Brands as well along with AC Delco which I know there's a lot of like diehard AC Delco parts fans out there but all their filters are made by First Brands Group. Okay so the, the one that always throws people off is um, this is considered to be one of the best filters on the market and this is also made by First Brands. Okay, uh, Man and Hummel is the company that makes a majority of the other filters and they make the Wix filters that are over there on that side. In addition to making those, they also make uh, the MicroGuard filters that are the um, O'Reilly brand house filters. Uh, they make Purolator, they make Bosch, uh, they make motorcraft. So Ford, Ford motorcraft uh, oil filters are made by uh, Mann and Hummel. Uh, there are some independent brands out there. There's a company called Baldwin. If you like Baldwin filters, they're made by uh, Parker Hannafin. Parker Hannafin is um, a company that does uh, industrial air system stuff. Uh, Fleet Guard is another well-known one on the market. Uh, they're made by Cummings, as in Cummings Diesel. Uh, the Honda filter that you see over here on the right is made by uh, Honeywell or Toyo Roki Honeywell uh, company and then one of the filters that I wanted to get but I uh, ended up not because I thought it was made by Man and Hummel is the uh, K&N filter that's actually made by uh, K&N Engineering and then last but not least um, the filter on the far left which is the uh, EcoGuard uh, filter over here um, this filter is made by a company called IPC Global and they are uh, a Chinese-owned company um, trying to make a move in the American markets. So you see a lot of these um, online, especially if you're going to buy like a cheaper filter, um, the EcoGuards will, will show up in your searches. Okay, so a little bit more info. Um, if you see um, on a company's website that's made by a company called Champions Labs or Champion, like Champion Spark Plugs, uh, Champions Labs is now owned by First Brands Group. Um, they were bought out by Trico. Trico is the company that makes uh, wiper blades. Uh, very commonly uh, in the market, you see them all over the place. Uh, when Trico bought uh, Champions Labs, they absorbed a large number of the filter companies uh, that go along with it, including um, all of their oil filter divisions, which is the Fram and the Mobile One filters there. So First Brands is also Champions Labs which is also Fram, Mobile One, and all the other names that I've already mentioned. So with all the talking out of the way, the next thing that I want to do is I want to unbox all these uh, filters and then I'm going to cut them all open and show you what's inside. All right, so now that I have all the filters out of the boxes, um, one of the things that I want to talk about is, um, as you can see, i got two different Frams and two different Wicks. Um, the filter differences are the lower end, cheaper in price uh, stock filter, and then the higher end, which in this case they consider an XG on their part number. On the Wix, it's the exact same part number with an XP. This one is considered their higher end uh, filter that, uh, in, the, in the Wix group. Now, you'll run into that with every um, brand that you get, uh, the STP, the Motorcraft, the AC Delco. They're all going to have a uh, stock brand and then and a higher end brand. Uh, Mobile One is, uh, does have uh, a higher end line, 
This is actually the higher end filter because I figured if I'm going to get the one that's considered one of the best in the market, I would get the one that is the uh, higher quality of all of them so that we could compare. One thing that I'm noticing right off the bat is the seal, the O-ring seal on the Honda is probably one of the weirdest ones I've seen. It has a step and it's significantly smaller. I don't know if that's to allow for more uh, crush, to allow it to roll in instead of out. I would think um, with the way it's designed, it would actually roll the, the, the O-ring into an outward direction. But um, other than that, um, the stamp plates on the high end and the wicks look about the same. The uh, stamped plates on the uh, Fram and the Honda look very similar. Um, all of them have an upper seal to them. And interestingly, the lowest end EcoGuard filter has its own plastic cover inside of the box, which is uh, not the same as any of the others. But um, I will also note that the um, these two Wix filters look almost exactly the same on the outside. Um, so um, that makes me believe that they're probably going to look very similar on the inside, but we'll find out. All right, so I've cut the top off of all the uh, oil filters here. One of the things I do want to talk about uh, that I find interesting is it's very similarly uh, put together to how a uh, can of peas would be put together. There's a, uh, a, a cup section and then a lid section, and the lid section is then uh, seam sealed around the outside. Um, beyond that, I don't, I don't have a, a massive knowledge of how and why filters are done this way. I'm not specifically an engineer. I'm doing this for fun. Uh, just so we can all see what's going on inside of them. One thing I do want to note is, even though this uh, Honda filter over here is made by uh, uh, Honeywell, uh, the interior parts look to be very, very similar to what's in the stock Fram. The, the um, rubber seal on the top is very, very thin. Um, and also, the Mobile One uh, filter uh, has a very similar uh, rubber seal to both the um, XP and the standard wick. Um, the only thing I'll say is this one feels a little bit thinner and this one feels a little bit thicker. Uh, beyond that, the low end and the high end fram both have a very similar thin uh, uh, seal on the top and the um, EcoGuard has um, a very, very thin downward uh, spout uh, built into it. It seems to be more built into the top of the can. Um, beyond that, um, this, the, the tops are all very, very similar. Um, they take the, the cap plate and they uh, roll it over onto um, the part with the holes in it and it looks to be welded and then it is uh, seam sealed like uh, a canning process would happen. Okay, so for a look inside, as I mentioned with the, the, the Honeywell being very similar to the Fram, um, this filter element uh, doesn't look like it's extraordinary or anything um, special. It has a little metal um, bit on the inside to allow the oil to come in and then to um, permeate through the, the filter mechanism. Um, it has a bottom plate built into the bottom of it with a little plastic thing on a spring. Um, that can either sit down in the bottom of the can or in the bottom of the filter element. Um, the top of it is cardboard, so is the bottom. Um, and then uh, this all sits down inside the can. So what we're going to see here is basically exactly the same thing. Um, this is a cardboard filter element uh, with a thin walled uh, mesh on the inside and then plastic and spring mechanism on the bottom. They're very, very similar. I wouldn't be surprised if Honeywell's actually having first brands make these for them um, and then just stamping their name on top of it. So let's look at the higher end uh, Fram. This one now has a much, much heavier duty um, filtering element. Uh, the interior uh, metal uh, is heavier duty also, and it has metal caps on the top and the bottom. And amazingly, even though this is a bigger size one, this is the exact same mechanism that's on the bottom uh, for uh, the standard frame. So um, the difference in in your in your price when you're when you're looking at these is pretty much going to be 
the uh, difference in the filter element. This has a much, much heavier filter element. That's um, the total difference in what you're paying for um, with uh, a metal cap on the filter. Um, a lot of people don't like the standard frames because of the fact that they use these uh, cardboard caps for their filtering element. Um, so if you don't like standard frames, um, you shouldn't like uh, Honda filters either. They're exactly the same thing. So let's look at one of the man and humbles. Uh, this is uh, the standard Wix filter. Um, it has a um, element similar to um, what would be in the Fram, except for the fact that it's already got the metal cap plates built in. Um, the holes in the sides uh, for the pickup actually look uh, much smaller. Um, to me, this doesn't seem like it would move as much uh, oil through it. Um, the openings in the Fram one are much bigger. I would think this would um, flow oil through it better um, than this one would because of how small the holes are. Um, but it also has a significantly larger number of holes. Maybe that um, counteracts the fact that this has bigger ones. And then um, in the bottom of this, um, this doesn't actually come out. This is the little standoff plate for the spring mechanism uh, that's on the bottom. And the spring mechanism on the bottom of this um, doesn't uh, look like it goes uh, up through the filter. This pretty much just looks like a stand to keep the filter up close to where the cap has to go. So let's take a look at the premium wick filter. Okay, so similar to the uh, higher end Fram, it has a much heavier filter element. Um, the cap is exactly the same on the top and the bottom, and then the interior mechanism looks to be exactly the same. It has the same standoff plate and the same uh, bottom mechanism. Also doesn't look like it goes up through or has a way to um, push push inward to allow fluid to go through in this direction. So um, again, when you go from a standard wick filter to a standard or a uh, high-end wick filter, you're getting basically the same thing, but with a, a much heavier duty filtering element inside of it. They're basically the same filter. Um, I would say that there's a significant difference between these two because of the cardboard. But beyond that, um, the, the mechanisms are the same, and then heavy filtering element on the higher end. Um, okay, so now this filter is considered to be um, one of the better filters on the market. But interestingly enough, uh, the mechanism or the filtering element inside of it is very similar to um, the heavier duty uh, filter, except for... Um, the color of it looks to be about the same as the one in the Fram. So people consider um, this to be the, 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 you know, like one of the better filters on the market. This filtering element um, is uh, similar in style to this, except for um, the mobile one has a much um, tighter mesh. This stuff is all closer together, so there's more wraps of the paper inside of the filter. Um, the bottom of it looks exactly the same as the bottom of the Man and Hummel filter. Um, same spring mechanism and uh, looks to be all about the same. So um, if I had to call this first brand's filter anything, I would call it a mesh between the Man and Hummel design and the um, uh, the uh, Fram design. Uh, it even has a very similar um, metal mesh inside of it as the Wick, even though this is made by First Brands, which is the same company that makes the Fram. So now let's go with what's considered the lowest end one. It actually comes with um, a pretty tight mesh on a fairly small filter um, with um, the cap plate mechanism is made of metal. Um, then um, it similarly has just a piece on the bottom. This doesn't look like it pushes up or moves. Um, there's no spring mechanism built into this, and there's a reason for that. On this uh, lower end filter, floating around in the bottom of the can is a spring. So I'm guessing these springs 
are used to keep the filter aligned and in um, up close towards the cap mechanism so that the um, seal can actually sit directly on it and if it swashes around a little bit it still lines up with its position. That is what is going to be inside all of these filters. Um, if you're going to buy a low end um, like Motorcraft filter um, you're going to end up getting something similar to the Wix filters. If you're going to buy like a low end um, AC Delco filter I would assume you're going to see something similar to um, this. Um, some of the brand specifics being like uh, the fact that it's going on a Chevy. Chevy may require that it has uh, metal caps. Um, I can't say for certain because we didn't buy all the different ones, but like if you're going to buy an STP based oil filter, you're basically going to be getting the exact same thing that's in a, uh, a Fram here. So the only thing this was really done for me um, is generally I like to buy these because they're uh, uh, cheap and abundant. Um, I may end up uh, switching to being a little bit more of a Wix guy. I don't really like the cardboard on the top of these, but um, I've known that these have had cardboard in them for years. And surprisingly, the uh, original Wix oil filter was a toilet paper filter, uh, which is considered still to be one of the best types of oil filters there is um, on the market. They took a toilet paper tube, and stuck it into a mechanism that filtered through, and it supposedly worked better than um, most other oil filters even uh, nowadays. So um, that's, uh, that's really all I have for you. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching. Um, if this changed your mind in any sort of way, uh, please make sure to watch more of our videos and like, share, and subscribe. Like I said, I am no expert on oil filters. Um, I was just cutting them open to show everybody what was inside of them. Um, it's very interesting to me that parts of this seem like they're made by this company. Parts of this, or parts of this, the Honda filters seem like they're made by the Fran, the company that makes the Fram filters. Um, honestly, I wouldn't use this uh, EcoGuard, mostly because I try to steer clear of buying Chinese products. Um, but beyond that, the filter itself actually looks like it's a pretty good filter. The spring thing on the bottom seems a little odd to me. Um, but beyond that, um, I, I may end up switching to, to Wix for my standard everyday filters. Um, so, hope you enjoyed. Uh, thanks for watching.